And you can't imagine how helpful it is just not to have to do your own shaking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're just like, and you're trying, you know, and trying to, you know, he just spared us from all of that. Was I wasn't going to complain about being sh shaken. Are you sure? Yeah. Be an adventure. First man to walk on the moon. That'd be something. You collaborated with a few of these people here on this great little indie called La La Land. From what I understand, you were actually working on First Man even before then. Justin and I had been had been trying to get La La Land made for a while. So I was kind of sort of in between things, but just started reading, started learning a little more about who Neil actually was and, and how borderline insane what, what, what he did and what the, what the country did at that time was. And that kind of got me you know, re revved up uh, in a way that I wasn't expecting. I knew uh, very little, I, I, well, nothing, really. <laughs> I knew that he had walked on the moon, but uh, you know, I, I knew nothing about, about the moon or him. I knew kind of the basics, I suppose, when you know that it was a success. You sort of see it all through the reference of going, well, of course we did that, and that must have been easy. But then also to find that Janet was this extraordinary kind of yeah. woman. Even in any space film that came before, the wives that were depicted weren't necessarily like that. They just served the story. And I think that's a testament to Josh and to Damien that they realised that there was something more interesting that Janet had to offer in life that needed to kind of be shown. We've got this under control. You're a bunch of boys. You don't have anything under control. Damien and I, always from the beginning, we were so struck by how this really was a story of grief. And, you know, it's because I think we were both so surprised that we had never heard anything about this daughter. And being able to dive into the personal in a really powerful way, you know, and some of the best stuff in this film is stuff we wrote scenes for but then was ad-libbed. And that, I think, speaks to, A, you know, the strength of our actors, mm -hmm. right, and how good they were and how much they really inhabited these characters. But then, B, you know, the brilliance of Damien's direct. What are the chances you're not coming back? Four. Those kids, they don't have a father anymore. Three. So you're going to sit the boys down? Two. And you're going to prepare them for the fact that you might not ever come home. One. I start at the piano. I, I sit down at the piano and start composing. But the first thing I need before that happens is just to talk to Damien and hear what he wants to feel from the music. The first thing we always look for is a theme, a theme melody. In terms of looking for that melody, what do we want to feel from that melody? And so the words Damien threw at me were grief, pain, a type of cosmic pain, mm -hmm. which I took that to be about Neil searching the universe for answers. It was also about moving on and living and finding a way to live with this pain. So it had to have certain bittersweet qualities to it as well. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil and Janet's sons, Mark and Rick were, were extremely helpful and were able to meet uh, Janet uh, before she passed away. We met uh, with uh, June Armstrong, Neil's sister. Oh, really? We met at the farm where Neil was born. I've never had more help on a film. It was an all-hands-on-deck mm. uh, situation, so much goodwill. It's also, you know, knowing that that's, they're all going to see the film at yeah. the end as well. So uh, there was a pressure there for sure, but it was, it was good. It, it fueled... Um, the film and it, there should have been uh, th that kind of pressure. I can't really imagine what it's like to be them. I can't put myself in a position uh, having grown up with that story, that family story, and then having people come along and say, we'd like to make a film about it, how I would react. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't react how they have, which is just to be involved and to be kind and um, to share their life with us. <laughs>